you came all this way on the railroad? Yeah. I left behind all those peoples. This show is hard to watch um, at points, just in terms of like the pain it elicits and the pain it contains. Why do you think that making space for that pain is important and artistically essential? We're, we're, we're living in a time where we're sort of starting to unpack certain things. And, um, you know, I, I, it is my hope that through seeing something like this, um, this particular piece, which is about resistance and in, in spite of that pain and that trauma and that brutality, um, that people will watch it and perhaps feel indicted. You know, what are the ways in which they allow for certain injustices to just continue, um, even if they're opposed to it? Um, what are the ways in which, um, you know, we are just sort of uh, indifferent to certain things? And I say this as a person who is, I definitely have opinions on a lot of things, and I've decided to do nothing in certain respects. And so it's my hope that, you know, through seeing something like this and 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 it's and the, the way that it throws all of this intensity like right into your living room and into your lap um that it it, it just sort of forces some really uncomfortable conversations that i think need to be had yeah and i think it's interesting that that your character that royal is is mostly in indiana is in the north um, sort of on the border there at parts but like you know, people may have a tendency to go, oh, that was just a Southern thing. That was, you know, the Civil War. That was those assholes down there. But like oftentimes, especially now, a lot of the police brutality stuff we see happens in Minneapolis or Los Angeles or it's happening. You know, it's not a thing that is limited to one area or one community. Yeah, well, it's everywhere. Yeah. You know, like um, that, that I feel like there's a way in which... Um, you know, people can let themselves off the hook by being, by virtue of being born in a state that is north of the Mason-Dixon line, that, you know, it's like, well, that's not me at all. And it's like, well, you know, there were some violent protests in Boston about busing, you know, there's a lot of really messed up things that happen in Chicago. As a matter of fact, like, the last time I was in Chicago, um, I was doing a play there and someone actually called me the N word on the street. It was, you know, I was walking back to the hotel that I was staying in with uh, my friends. My mom was there with me and, you know, she called us a bunch of N words. And so it's like this, it's not, you're not, you, you don't escape that because of where you live. That's everywhere. And I think it's important to go ahead and put that out there. I mean, one thing that this sort of brought up for me is also like, and this is something that Toni Morrison talked about that a bunch, you know, people have talked about for 30 some years. Why do you think there's no national monument to the millions of people that were held, that were held in slavery? I mean, there's the, there's the Smithsonian Museum in DC and stuff, and that's just happened in the past couple of years, but there's still no like Vietnam Memorial or whatever for the millions of people that were held in slavery. You know, I don't, I, I really don't have an answer for that. I think that, you know, it's, I do wonder though, if it really counters the narrative that America has of its, for itself. Um, you know, it's like to, to really own that and own that brutality and own that kind of injustice, it, it, it makes, you know, our, it, it really tarnishes uh, America's self-image. And um, I think that a lot of people want to have the idea, everyone now wants to think that they would have been an abolitionist, you know, and that's just not the way it would have been. I feel like at its core, it's really more about like, we can't, we're, we, we, yeah, you know, let's sweep that one under the rug because it's not, um, that's, that's not who we are now. And it was really awful. And, you know, if we actually own that part of ourselves, then, you know, like we're, that, that makes us, that makes us bad. And, you know, and, and I think that, it, you know, if you want to be the hero of your own story, that's one of those things that you probably just can't have. So it's, I think there's a lot of things that sort of contribute to that. I think it should happen in some way or another. Mm -hmm. What's their name? 